Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements. This is patch 1.1.9, which I'm calling Last of the 1.Xs, uh, which is probably my least creative patch name, uh, but it basically is because the next patch is going to be the pre-expansion patch, which will put us into the 2.Xs. Uh, so, mostly this is bug fixes and preparation code for some of the changes that are coming. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the uh, more obvious things that you, you can see. And uh, one of which is that the collision for the um, scaffolding has been removed so that you can now wire your plots together without having to erase this scaffolding or wait for it to disappear. Uh, I know it sucks that now you'll be able to run right through the scaffolding, which is a little unimmersive, but uh, it's temporary. It's not like we're using those on platforms, and I thought the user-friendliness of being able to power these uh, in a, without having to do something funky or wait for things or race for things was too important, and it was worth that small sacrifice. Uh, otherwise, the big changes are going to show up in your hollow tape. So if we bring that up here, uh, we've got... Oop, let's see if I can click on the right thing. Uh, we've got two new option menus. One is the audio options, and then the other is performance options. And if you go under configure zoning laws, I have one new setting, and that is commercial requirement can now be turned off to none. Uh, and that's I know you guys have requested this. If you don't want your commercial to be tied to the number of customers, you can turn that off now. Uh, now, let's go into these menus. The first one is audio options. Previously, there was just a zoning law that turned all sounds off. Uh, now, I've got not only are the sounds that are added by sim settlements broken into categories but you can now cut the volume in half before you mute it so maybe you don't hate a sound but you just want it to be a little quieter you can do that uh, and for those of you guys who don't like the protect i can never say this word for some reason protectron uh who screams on top of the tier three armor shop uh you he now has his own category called hawkers i will be adding in more uh hawkers to the commercial area at some point so that you can get that marketplace feel but if you don't like that you can turn it off here uh, and then uh, the rest of these are mostly going to be uh, pretty self-explanatory as I add more things. And I'll probably continue to add categories as I add sounds so that uh, you guys can have a little finer control over what exactly uh, are added to your soundscape within your settlements. Then I'm going to show you the performance options. Now, this is a work in progress. All of this code is in place, as in if you were to turn these off, technically it's working. Uh, but as of right now, most of the building models, in fact, none of the building models are completely set up to use these options yet. So what's going to happen over time is that myself and any of the add-on authors that want to add support for this will be able to classify each of the items on their plots as one of these uh, types. And then if you turn that off, that those items won't spawn anymore. And they're, ba they're based around the object types that would have uh, a performance hit for you. So for those of you guys on Xbox, uh, if you're starting to run into render crashes because you have too much stuff in your settlements from some settlements, you'll be able to turn off some of these features uh, and slowly uh, degrade the quality until your system stops uh, crashing or the uh, frame rate gets to an acceptable level. Now, as of right now, only the default Sim Settlements buildings are configured to use some of this, and right now that's only the clutter section. Uh, in order to get all of these working, I have to go through and classify every single item that spawned on a plot, which is going to be a big project, and I'll probably take it a building or two at a time, so as each patch comes out, I'll slowly add more and more support for these. Uh, but as of right now, all of the clutter is tagged, so if you were to turn this off, uh, over time you'd see the clutter, the stuff that's inside of the building slowly start disappearing. These options do take a while to go into effect because the game then has to go through from plot to plot, look for these items, and remove them. So uh, unlike the refresh plots option, this will happen in the background no matter what you're doing. So you don't have to hang around in your uh, settlement to wait for this to take effect. It'll just start going uh, as soon as you exit your Pip-Boy if, if you edited any of these options. So over time, I'll add support for these. Over time, hopefully add-on authors will add support for these. Uh, but the code is all in place, and everybody can start using it now. So if you turn off a bunch of these in advance and you notice that certain things aren't disappearing, just hang tight. you got to wait for us to get a chance to classify all of our objects. Uh, and then if you've already turned these off and we classify our objects after the fact, as soon as you refresh that plot, it will take effect. So I apologize for all the rambling on this performance stuff. I think it's a very important part of Sim Settlements going forward. I know a lot of you guys uh, on, uh, on Xbox and some lower NPCs can't handle all of the stuff that we're throwing at you and you still want to be able to use the mod. So this is going to hopefully let that happen. Okay, guys, enjoy the mod. Please check out the patch notes. There's lots of changes. 
uh, that may affect you and bug fixes. We're now currently at the lowest bug report count uh, in the history of some settlements, which is very exciting. Uh, and watch out this weekend. I hope to have some more details for you guys on the expansion. All right, guys. Again, enjoy the mod and take care.